Yo, what's good, everyone? It's RFG back at it today. And um, I'm going to be going over in full detail uh, what happened to me um, in my past to allow me to fully acquire um, the knowledge that I've, you know, obtained today and the whole journey and the whole process, okay, which, which led to this uh, spiritual awakening for me, okay? For me, um, the spiritual awakening officially started summer of 2011, and the spiritual awakening was officially complete for me back in May of 2012. And ladies and gentlemen, this occurred um, the whole time I was in Arizona, okay? I was in Mesa, Arizona, okay? I was living in Mesa, and I was attending uh, Mesa Community College during, you know, this whole time um, that the creator was putting me through um, nothing but a spiritual awakening. Uh, this is one of the major events that started it. Okay, this was uh, September 17th, 2011, uh, UFO sighting over the football game in uh, Mesa, Arizona, Mesa Community College. Okay, so uh, we're going to let this play. And um, this, is, uh, this is real amazing stuff, people, so just... Just watch and stay with me here. Notice the lights over the tree that's near the goalpost. Okay, the lights are going to start to appear and disappear in a triangle motion. It's multiple triangle objects hovering over the field. And they're appearing and disappearing. Look at how huge that thing is, ladies and gentlemen. You can't see it because the object is colored black. And, um, you know, of course, this was shot in the evening. That's how huge it is. That right there is almost the size of the football field. But it's just far away. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, um, after witnessing this uh, at the age of uh, 19, okay, at the time, um, I, I realized that our government was lying to us about everything on a global scale because... When I saw this in Arizona, okay, um, that was the first time I actually witnessed a sighting like this in over a decade. Because uh, like I said, you know, I'm from Las Vegas. I was born and raised in Las Vegas, which is uh, directly south of Area 51. And people in Southern Nevada see UFO sightings, you know, all the time. But the only time I actually saw that, uh, you know, a UFO that big was when I was back in um, Las Vegas. So when I saw this again in a different state, I knew something very strange was going on with this United States government, okay? Like I said, this was over a football game in Mesa Community College. Here's what you can put in on YouTube to see it for yourself. I was there, okay? Looking at it with my own eyes, okay? Um, very, very mind-blowing, to say the least. But, you know, if, uh, if you really want to get technical, um, what really led to me going through this spiritual awakening, what helped start it, what helped kickstart it? It had something to do with this anomaly right here. Okay, this is called the Sedona Vortex. 
I want everybody to go research the Sedona Vortex when you get time. Okay, it's going to blow you guys away. There is, a, there is an electromagnetic field that is being produced, okay, um, at the center of this canyon. But it's, it's called the Sedona Vortex because all the researchers and the geologists um, have noticed the electromagnetic energy, okay, that is being um, emitted from this canyon, okay? It's called the Sedona Vortex. Go look it up when you get a chance. It is absolutely amazing. Okay.